Hey, how's it going? And today we're just exploring this Lyra starter game and seeing if we can get some of the assets that are in this game into a different Unreal Engine project so we can explore it and have some fun with some things. This is an extremely amazing asset. It's supposed to teach you about game development and there's just more than a master class worth of information here. Really, it's fairly advanced. I think a lot of the stuff in here takes a while to probably decipher it. I actually think you could almost get a college degree in this starter game. There's so much information in there. But anyway, what you'll do is you go ahead and download this Lara starter game. It's free and go create project. I named, I already downloaded it and I have it called Lara starter game here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fire it up. You can build a game using this, but I actually think you'd have to be fairly advanced to be able to do that. Unless you just kind of took the game as it is, because there's just so much in here. It's it's mind boggling. So anyway, in our particular case, what we want to do, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get go into heroes, go into mannequins and meshes, and I just wanted to migrate this SKM Quinn over to another project. So what you do is go ahead and go back into Unreal Engine here, Epic Games, and then launch a blank, whoops, launch a blank third person game and save that and then close that. That's where we'll be migrating this asset to. So what we'll do is I'm gonna right click and go asset action and go migrate and then it'll say okay. And now I just have to go find where I wanna put my thing and I want to put it in this game I created right here. I just called it Lyra 2. It's a third person template and I'll go select folder. Now it's going to migrate those assets over but I'm going to get some errors and I'm still researching what all these errors actually mean but apparently it's having issues with some of the some invalid data and things that it doesn't like. So We'll have to sort that out on a different video. So now once you've migrated that Lyra asset over, I'm going to just go ahead and go ahead and open that project that I just, I can do that right through here. So if I come into my Unreal projects and go into Lyra, should be here, Lyra 2, I can just click in here and go ahead and open that game and it should have that asset in there. Like I said, was a just a generic third person template. So now we're gonna go ahead and open it. And as you can see, it's just the generic third person template, which this seems really like Bunny Hill compared to Suicide Hill over on <laughs> the Lyra starter game. So anyway, if we come into third person blueprints and come in here, we can see our third person character. And it comes by default with the SKM Quinn in there. And if we double click this, we can come over here and under the material assets, we can click in there. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I meant to click here. We can actually swap out the blue here. So you'll see it down here, the zero and the two. And so what's cool about this is now we've got Quinn. Now if I come over here and go back in the third person, I hit play. She's now in the Lyra blue material, which is just a change of pace, right? So if you're tired of the the silver, you can just swap out and make her blue, which I actually think this looks really cool. So that's one thing you can do. But there's a lot more things we can do, and I'll be exploring more how we can export assets from Lyra, 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 into another game project and kind of deconstruct them and break them down and see how we could use them in our own game. So I think it's going to be difficult to take the Lyra as it stands and try to make it into a game. There's just so much in there, but I think you can export out those assets into your game and use those assets that way, just like we just swapped out the materials here. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.